Hey guys, I'm Rezavane, and welcome back to another episode of Shadow of the Tomb Raider Definitive Edition. Last episode, we basically, uh, finished up the side mission that was dealing with the White Breath, or the, the Breath of the Gods, or something like that, um, where it was, like, us picking up the ability to turn our, what is it called, the Hallucinogenic Arrow into a smoke bomb, almost. So it's really cool to have that ability now, so we can <laughs> make everybody confused in that one area if there is any. Um, and then on top of that, we basically started the Great Cayman, which is to deal with the Wrath of the Gods kind of like thing. I don't know if there's a DLC name to it per se. I mean, I mean most of the uh, the heck. I didn't even know that was a thing. That's weird. I don't know most of the DLC's name. Most of the DLC's names are like very mysterious to me because I don't know exactly what they do or say. Well, this looks scary though. Looks like a war has started in this area. The village is abandoned because of the mudslide. Oh, so this is the mudslide area? Uh, this looks like a no. I don't need to run over here yet or at all. Yeah, that's so sad. There must be a way to open the door. That's kind of sad that the the village is abandoned because we caused it. I really don't know why there was a gap there, but okay. I was trying to jump on the thing to like hold on to it to make it. I think I can see the temple site. There's a village in front of it. That's the one. Yeah, that's the temple we're looking for, I think, because uh, I couldn't see because I couldn't tell where exactly it was being placed. I only know that. I only know that it's like there somewhere. Alright, going over here first, because I think that was where... The village is abandoned. Because of the mudslide. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Yeah, why is there even a gap right there? <laughs> That's the weird part for me. I can't get through that. I do see this thing as something, but I'm... There must be a way to open the door. But I'm not sure what this is supposed to be for. Um... Oh, there's a thing over here that we can... Oh, no, no, no. Okay. I was like, oh, no. We're not going to land on that if we're not careful. Because it's not a straightforward path. No, I wanted to jump, but I messed up that jump. Man, this area is really... I hope the villagers will be able to return here soon. Not with that attitude. They won't return. Sorry, I'm just being very weird about that. Uh, yeah, I don't know what part of the area is considered dangerous and what's not. Oh, that's interesting that it's still, like, muddy water flowing through this city kind of thing. Uh, I hear music, but I'm not sure. Oh, what the heck is this? No, yeah, it's not gonna let me. It's it. This is like only one way, which is really nice that they actually try to challenge you by putting a box to it. Creative, very creative. Like they place a box there to prevent you from using that uh, rope arrow onto that thing to make it easier to get across. All right, here we go. But it is kind of weird that there's this sort of. I have to go through the church. Careful, the buildings are unstable. It's kind of weird that this whole area is gaseous, uh, gaseous, gases, gas, yeah, yeah you, you get the point. There's so much gas around, but it's like toxic fumes almost in a way. Excuse me. What is this? From the age of the paper, this must have been left here decades ago. Oh, great Zapakna. Creator of the mountains, destroyer of the foolhardy, and guardian of the flames beneath the earth. Grant that my son and my daughter should walk on your mantle in safety and prosperity. May your might and your wisdom be with them always. Okay. Uh, do we just keep going down here, I guess? Sliding down. Ooh. I can't believe it. Trinity destroyed the bridge. You'll find your way through. 
it kind of makes me wonder what was the point of the other mechanics in the city for or the village for because there was like a, the thing that we held down but then it didn't held down for long and stuff i was just confused by that uh oh okay so there was like two ways again to get to the space i guess yeah, it's looking like there's like two different ways to get down or up to wherever we need to go, it seems. I just took the downside apparently because of like other reasons. I have to use my weight properly. Yeah, I need to like get up to the top there. I'm wondering what this leads me to though. It looks like it leads me to death, but I'm not too sure. All right, we need to like get up to wherever this needs me to go, I guess. Nope. Okay. This isn't going to work. All right. Oh, jeez. Okay. Cool. I was like, am I going this way or is this like the only way up? <laughs> this isn't going to work. <laughs> Freaking Lara is just like disappointed. Still, I'm just like not sure why. Uh, that's in case if I fell fell down or fall down or something like that. But yeah, I don't get the point of some of these spots though. It's like some of these spots feel very not necessary, but they kind of make it feel like it's confusing. I'm inside the temple. I'm wondering if they're just doing it to make it confusing for the player so that they don't think that it's always a straightforward path, or they don't want to make it look like a path that's. The partner's eating a crab. His favorite food. They don't want to make it obvious to the player to how to how you solve that puzzle, I guess. Or solve that direction of getting up to that spot. Alright, let's see what message it's got. The Maya god Zapakna, brother of Cabra Khan, god of earthquakes. Zapakna is often depicted as a giant caiman and is known for his destructiveness, arrogance, and volatility. All right, means that the guy doesn't like being, the guy likes nothing. Story complete, very interesting. I'm going to climb up here, I guess. I mean, he doesn't like anything. He just wants destruction. So that's how he's going to be happy. This has to be it. Ooh. Lara? I'm okay. And I see Zapakna. So Zapakna is like a sort of giant crocodile, alligator. I can't tell if it's a crocodile or alligator. I'm sorry if I'm just uh, if I'm if I'm discriminating on the crocodile alligator line. I am sorry. I'm not good at distinguishing either one. All right. Getting closer. This is the only spot we got. So, oh. Okay. We're, okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. I was confused for like a hard second about how we get down, but it's seemingly harder to figure out where some spots may be at. Ooh, there's a fire going on there. Burning up the uh, halls. Oh, my bad. I pressed E instead of jump. There we go. All right. Do we pull this thing, I guess? It's a lot of fire. Yeah. But it's a timer, I guess. Right? Yeah, it's a timer. I just need to see what the heck this thing does in order to figure out. Alright, we're gonna get hurt here. And we're dead. We're dead. <laughs> because I didn't realize... When I went halfway, I didn't realize, like, oh, I need to really actually go still. Crabs up there, I guess. It's really nice, though. It looks like a really nice place to kind of like deal with like trouble, I guess. Shit. Move. I got it. We got it. Damn. Too close. Yeah, it's meant to be very close, I think. Very tight. Okay, it's just trying to show me my next location when we get there. Just beautiful. Indeed, beautiful. There must be more of these triggers. If I find all of them, they'll push the partner back to the top. 
And then we can put the little treasure thingy my bobber up there to the beginning again. Okay, so we're going over here. Oh goodness gracious. Oh sheesh. This is not easy, is it? Got to move up. How do we? So there's a rope over here, but I'm wondering where that needs to go from here. Okay. I'm guessing we need to like tie this up with this guy here. Like that, I guess. And then we just need to make sure that we can... No! Ah, oh, son of a gun! I just... I, I, you guys saw that. You saw me grab no throw my rope. <laughs> grab no throw rope. Like, I actually legitimately did it, and then it just didn't accept it still, which is weird to me. Alright, here we go. I literally grabbed the thing right as, like, I needed it. Okay, so now we got it up here. Now, where is the thing- That's deadly. I'll have to find a way to stop it. There it is. I was like, where is this thing that I'm looking for? Oh, jeez. I don't have time! Oh jeez, that was a... I barely made it situation still. <laughs> oh wait, no wait. There's a thing down here, I think, right? Yeah, we can come down here if we want to. I guess it's like if we jump down here, maybe? I don't even know yet. Not too certain about what's down here anyways. Okay, so that gives us a clue about that thing behind some stuff. Nothing else. Okay. I'm not sure why there's a platform down here. Maybe it's just in case we fall or something, maybe. Oh, jeez. That thing is going to have to go slower. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, I didn't know there was more. Woo. That was close. I didn't know there was more to that spot. I was just like only thinking of like that one. Like when you don't see what's ahead, you really don't know what's going on, really. So it's like harder for me to. I do see the goal inside the thing, though. The the gold plant panel pan panel thing. It's like. If you don't see what's ahead, you can't really make any strategic planning. You can't make any like strategic planning that like would help you, and that's really bad, I feel like. Okay. What do we got? We got... What is that? Another rope arrow device thingy, my bobber? So we need to rotate something in, right? So we need that thing up here, maybe. And that rotates the thing to my side, I think. Yeah, so that's to get me over here. Question. Question being is like, where do I go from here? But No! <clears throat> I don't really often know how far or how close I am to getting that... Uh, those those rope arrows like or the grapnel grapnel ropes like i think that's the hard problem of like you think you can get it but then the game doesn't really tell you like hey you you're barely making it or you're not making it at all because you suck at being too close to it it's like a weird like perception kind of thing i feel like come on let's go jump all right cool made it just on point Alright, so now we need to rotate that to this side, so we can use it for, uh, use it for the stuff we need to get to the other side. I do see a thing over there, but I'm not sure if that has anything to do with anything here yet, so... We'll have to wait and see, I guess. Rotating you back. Alright, 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 alright. Alright, alright, alright. Alright, let's see. 
Yeah, sometimes I'm questioning why they have like certain things up here and stuff, but get up, get up, run. There we go. Whew, made it. And that was a checkpoint too, so that's nice. Alright, so we need to pull the lever again. Where at? Here you. Alright, let's go. Oh jeez, this is not great because we need to like... Oh great. Great gracious. Gracious, gracious. Leave me. I can't even like go any faster than this, which is kind of terrible. <laughs> It's like, I don't know if I'm gonna get it in time or not, so it's like... There we go, we got it. Sometimes I don't know if it's like fast enough to get to the spot we need to or not either. So we had to take a gander of like, oh okay, we made it or not. Is there anything down here that we need? No, okay. Just pure fire burning on my pathway. This might be the last spot though. Yeah, this might be it. No? Seems like we got one more spot up there. Up there inside the Cayman's mouth. Alrighty. Uh over here, okay. She's it's difficult to know if we're I don't know how far how much further we got, so I'm wondering. I'm not sure if this is- I'm not sure if this thing is climbable though, because it looks like it's a climbable spot, but... Alright, well let's just grab no hook our way up. Alright. Alrighty. I don't know exactly what's gonna happen, so we're gonna try our best to do whatever we need to do. Uh, yes, this one. I was a little confused for a second there, because I wasn't sure what I was looking for for that spot. Alrighty, cool. That's good dropping down. To get grappling up. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, no! Ah, I was too short on that. I think I need to attach the rope onto something, I think. I think there needs to be an attachment. Yeah, there's an attachment down there, so... We need to do that first, I think, before we actually make that jump. It's interesting because this is a combination of the two... of the balancing platform stuff. Or three, rather, because at the beginning of this area... Beginning of this, before we went into this tomb itself, the temple tomb itself, there was a balancing act kind of thing, which was like, oh, why is this here? Like, it didn't really seem like there was anything important to it at all, for sure. And then suddenly it's like, you come in here and you're like, oh, wow, there's actually like a, uh, a temple dealing with a bunch of, like, the same thing, balancing platforms and stuff, and having to constantly balancing platform all the way up to the top somehow. Um, so it's, it's really interesting that they're trying to like do it step by step about which one is about which one is like uh Damn, I need to to the whoa okay we're going this way I guess it's like step by step they add new new uh, new things you need to do to get it like differently I guess okay I see I see that we need to probably make our way from the top over maybe maybe to move up. Um. Oh, I didn't die. Okay, Thank thankfully. <laughs> it looked kind of like I would have missed that shot there. Oh, shoot. No. Ah. Oh. Let me go back. Can I go back? Yes, I can. I was wondering if we can get up to the top here, right? It looks like it's a... Wait. Oh, I maybe I missed my opportunity by jumping off of that area, I guess. Yeah, I think I might have missed the opportunity because of the fact that I was choosing to go down rather than stay on the top area to like get to wherever I need to get to to get to the to the area here. Okay, there it is, yeah. 
I was not sure because it did not look like anything at first, but... Sure. Okay, so we need to probably... Hook our ways down. And then swing over, it looks like. Oh, no, no. Uh, let's do this way. Yeah. Make ourselves far down enough to like be able to grab this properly or safely rather there we go alright cool I'm sorry I'm looking up because I need to see if there was any added bonus things we needed to do to, to get whatever done oh wow this is quite elaborate okay so the moment one of the fire goes out we go oh yeah okay oh jeez Uh, oh, no. Ah, I walked ahead by a little bit more by accident. I actually walked into that without thinking about it. Okay, thankfully these fires are, like, very straightforward, I think. No hesitation. Just go, just go. Okay, what is this? We can use the rope arrow? This, or rope, I mean, zipline? Yeah, we just need to go this way. I don't know why I went that way, though. A part of me doesn't understand why I went that way, even though there was a zipline, like, literally there. But at least we made it through. Jeez, that's a scary jaw. What ability do we get now, game? Stronger melee damage? I don't know. I feel like that would make sense a little bit. Now what? Through the door, I guess. Oh, achievement. Cayman conquered. Achievement unlocked. Cayman conquered. Achievement unlocked. Volcano. Craft incendiary shotgun shells that wreak havoc by igniting targets on impact. This is the same mechanic that they had in Rise of the Tomb Raider, I think. Either Rise or the first game, the first Tomb Raider 2013 reboot. Uh, I remember there was a shotgun incendiary at one point, but I just don't remember exactly to what degree uh, it had anything to do with it. But well, we're not done yet, are we? <laughs> Oh, we're not done. We just need to return. I'm guessing we have to return the crab back to its origin space, I guess. What in the name are we... Where are we going? Game, what are we doing? Oh, no. Am I... Oh, no, I'm not uh, I'm not supposed to grab no down. I, I went down without thinking about it. All right, give me a second. I want to actually use the restroom because I didn't actually take a full-on break in the last episode. Uh, or between the last episode to this episode. I'll be right back. It's going to be a quick cut. No worry. It's not me in a new day or anything. I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, that's pretty much not going to be happening. But anyways, be right back. Alrighty. Welcome back myself. Let's get down to finishing this area. Let's go. Sorry. Yeah, I didn't get to use the bathroom during the time of the thing. I just, like, I told myself, like, I want to go record now. And then I just skipped over doing whatever it is. Okay, so that's not a thing, I guess. Okay, so we need to jump over and grab no rope stuff, I guess. And I'm dead. Yeah, I was supposed to grab no rope, but I, I timed it poorly, I think, in that space. Where does it leave me here? Okay, so that's... Yeah, like, it just goes back to the whatever. It goes back to the, the top of when I went through the jaw. Or the mouth. I do like the the way that they handled having to have the whole jaw of an alligator as a statue thing. It's a first in my mind of how a game like this can like go for something interesting like that. Oh no 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 no. That's my bed. There we go. Okay, we just need to yeah, go down. Alright. Go down and slide or swing to that that ledge. Why does the lava just sound like monsters like calling out for you it's like <laughs> it's just like weird sounds this must be where the crab belongs crab belongs oh they had the place rigged Get her. no oh shit darn it freaking idiots don't do that she is, boys. Just like we planned. oh my god Oh, okay. Oh no, I accidentally used the, the... There we 
kills. Oh, jeez. Got shotgun ammo, I guess, for sure. Sheesh. There we go. That's one guy down. There goes that guy. Ah, <laughs> I blew him up when he was freaking... Oh my god, there's... Oh jeez, my bad. Nope, don't you dare. Over there. Go. Go. Oh jeez. Stay down. Oh. Okay, well, I got ammo, I guess. Time to end this. Go, end it then. Oh jeez. Wow, that was insane. Shut up. No, I'm not empty. What? Alright. Oh, what the heck? When did you get over here? There was a guy who was just over here. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. Gotta... Alright, there goes that guy. I like how they just ragged all their ways down. Oh jeez, oh jeez. Oh god, the incinerary. Okay, I need the pistol back up. Are we done? Well, there's only one zipline up here. I can't. I cannot handle the. Oh come on! Really? Oh jeez. Goodbye. Thank you. There's just so much enemies. How many more is there? A headshot. Okay. Wait, he didn't die. What? The guy didn't die at all. What the flip? He didn't die at all and he just fell down to like a safe spot. That's so random though that he didn't drop into the lava. Alright. I need to reload anything that I have here because I wanna... I wanna have like pr preparation of whatever. Uh, there we go. Sorry, I'm trying to cycle through my weapons a little bit to make sure I'm equipped with the right stuff I want. Alright, I want to see if I picked up all the enemies, like, ammunition and all. It looks like they'll despawn some enemy uh, bodies, which kind of sucks a little bit because I needed some of the ammunition back due to uh, using a lot of it against these guys. Yeah, because a lot of the spots on the other side already had lost their uh, the ammunition and stuff like that. So it's just like, I didn't really have much left going on for myself in <laughs> the spot that I needed. I didn't use the poison arrow either, uh, or the, the arrows for hallucinations, because I wanted to just keep them for like any stealth reasons, not so much as like anything else besides that. Can okay, I hear? We just need to go up, I think. Yeah, because I want to keep my my poison arrows for like stealth related reasons, not so much as uh not so much as for the fights down here. The fights should just rel relatively stay with like with the um Abby, I'm at Zapakna's temple. Trinity was waiting for me. They stole the crab to lead me into an ambush. The my God, are you okay? Yeah. I'm fine, and the crab is back where it belongs. I mean, Lore's oh, talking. Oh, that's such a relief. Thank you. Let's hope you returned it in time. Tell Jonah I'm on my way back. At least Laura was talking while she was like... I was just like, are you okay? She's like, she's saying stuff, right? So she's not dead, clearly. <laughs> it's like, clearly she's not dead. She's talking to you straight on right there. Alright, so we need to return to Jonah to complete this side mission, apparently. Okay. <laughs> Uh, 
Should I just fast travel down there? I guess I can try to fast travel, fast travel over to it. I got three skill points. Might as well. Um, let's spend it on this guy. I wanted to get it on this one eventually, so... Heart of the Jaguar. Yeah, I wanted to get it eventually. If we get, like, two more additional side uh, skill points, then we'll take it, but... Uh, wait. Is there two tombs I haven't unlocked, or did I do them already? I'm kind of curious what they are on the map. Riverside... Mission Gate. Yes. Yeah, because Mission Gate is where Jonah's sitting, like, by the fountain area. So we'll turn in this mission, and then we'll end the episode here uh, soon, after I get to talking to Jonah. I mean, there's nothing else I could do for the last few minutes here, because the only thing we got left is the actual side mission for uh, the giant serpent or something, the great serpent. Here we are. So Abby tells me the whole thing was a setup? Yep. Yes, when I returned the crab, Trinity had a trap waiting for me. <laughs> I guess that's some kind of compliment. They trusted you to bring it back. Thank you so much, Lara. Oh, they're holding hands. <laughs> now that the crab is back in its rightful place, the ash is gone, and the tremors have stopped. I'm not sure I can take credit for all of that. True. Either way, it never hurts to keep the gods happy. <laughs> when good things come into your life, you've got to celebrate them. It's nice that Jonah is finally getting a romantic relationship with someone. But it's kind of weird to be, like, displaying it here, I guess. I don't know. It's just a little bit weird to me, a little bit. Oh, achievement. Leaping Lizards. Achievement unlocked. So we got a reptile hide, and that's why they gave us Leaping Lizard, I guess. So we got a new shotgun with a suppressed fire, which is interesting to me. Wrathful God, mission complete. Sweet. All right, cool. Thank you guys for watching. That will be it for this episode for now. Uh, next episode, we will definitely go off to... Wait. Is it this one? Yeah, because they gave us a shotgun, but I just don't have the shotgun in place, I guess? Or is it just a, a thing where we're just like... Uh... Yeah, I don't know. It's not showing me anything... Yeah, because I don't have much rifles either, or, or anything. Oh, we got a new axe. I didn't realize that. Two new, two different axes. White knuckle? How does this look like? It looks okay. Yeah, it's just one looks darker than the other. I like the gold one a lot more, but... Enemies are more likely to get... Oh, so the stats... So this doesn't have stats. So we got this from the uh, the fear, Temple of Fear, I think, or the Tomb of Fear, or whatever it is, and that was what this was. Uh, and this gave us an extra thing to it. Yeah, we got the Scourge Pandemic, which doesn't really matter. Yeah, this is the thing we got, I think, the, the Pandemic one from the mission. We already kind of have something similar, <laughs> so there's really no real reason for it. Um... I don't think this really matters as much. I like to use ones that worked, I guess. Let me see. Um, so this is a standard trip, uh, Trinity rifle. Suppressed fire gives your enemies a fatal cause for of lead poisoning while... Ooh. So this one means that they, they get to be poisoned, I think. And it's red! My favorite color! Oh man, that's that's really cool. Yeah, I'll take shade. I, I'd rather take the red. Alright, cool. That's nice. I like that. Yeah, I want the weapon suppressor or the pistol suppressor. Yeah, the one that I have on me that I'm equipped with, which is the AB-45, is pretty good already. I don't really think it matters too much about the DLC weapons much. Though I'm kind of curious what I have equipped on this guy. The, the golden one, right? The golden recursive? We got some upgrades we need to still do. Um... But none of them have anything decently, like, different than than what I need it to be. Yeah, none of them have better damage. Only this one has damage, but the whole time sucks, which is not great, but... I'm sorry, I'm just doing these last-minute, like, checkups of what I want to do. Fire damage increase. Deals higher damage to animals. 
yeah, this one is a good balance one. I, I like the balancing ones, though, honestly. Armored enemies. So this deals extra damage for armored enemy types. Yeah, both of these are, like, armored enemies types. Uh, or no, this one is uh, hitting unarmed armored enemies better, I think. Now, I'll stick with the Recurse Bow, though, because it's better off that way. Um, but I will probably start upgrading these, because I feel like, why not, seeing how, how, they, how strong they are if I power them up, like, fully, I guess. Plus, I'm starting to get a good chunk of resources that I'm, like... I need to start spending a little bit, at least, so I can get more other stuff to, like, be able to prepare for anything else, I guess. Yeah, the damage would barely meet the same amount as the Recurse Bow, Recursive Bow, but I don't know. None of them have, like, a uh, automatic poison or anything like that, so it's like, it doesn't really matter to me. Uh, it matters to me as much. Yeah, I'd rather keep it to the, the balanced bow rather than anything else. Alright, cool. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, we're going to fast travel to the city again, I guess, because we have something over here, I think, still to deal with. Uh, or actually, I won't travel until the next episode, but technically we got one more side mission to do for the DLC stuff uh, that is available for now, uh, which is the Serpent's Heart, Two Graves. Yeah, that's going to require us to go back to the city, the Hidden City. So in the next episode, we'll go to the Hidden City. Oh shoot, I didn't save in the last episode, did I? Oh well, I guess that's how it's going to go for now. Um, yeah, so in the next episode, we're going to go and try to aim for the last side mission that we're able to do for the DLC lists and stuff. And then once we're done with that, we'll go into the main mission again, where we finish up the story, I think. We're, we're probably, like, very close to finishing the story, so I don't think there's much more to this game, unfortunately. But once we're done with the game, we'll do whatever leftover side missions that are available, finish them all out, and then we'll call that a day for this game, or call it for the rest of this game, close it out. And uh, I'll talk about my thoughts and opinions about this whole game, including the DLCs and the, definition, the Definitive Edition. It's primarily the Definitive Edition, not so much as the main game itself. Because the extra added content really makes this game shine the most, I feel like. Because it powers you up to a point where I feel like it's really cool to have these things. But I feel a little bit sad because these DLC things aren't available for everyone. Like if somebody bought the Shadow of the Tomb Raider before the Definitive Edition came in and they only need to buy the upgrade and stuff. It kind of seems like a skimp out for those who just played the main game and just played it to a point where... They had none of the sort of like cooler upgrades that really helps them out in battle or during battles and stealth missions and stuff like that. I feel like that those things should have been earlier in the mission in the games, but then they come in kind of like second to last kind of thing uh, where these things just are so powerful, but they just don't want to give it to you until a lot closer to the end because they I think some of the abilities requires some of the stuff you already own uh, done or something like that. I don't I don't really know, but. Yeah, it's kind of crazy, um, but at least we got them, and uh, looking forward to seeing the last thing and upgrade, last upgrade stuff, and finishing the game. But anyways, other than that, that's it for this episode. So, Roz, out.